Curiosity. Paper tissue is very good at soaking up water and other liquids. And we often use paper tissues to wipe up messes, don't we? And there are many other things that soak up water as well. Maybe you've noticed that chalk soaks up water and other liquids as well. Because there are tiny little holes in the chalk and there are holes in the paper tissue. That's fine, but when it comes to bricks in a brick house, it's not so good. Bricks have little holes in them too, and water can soak up from the ground into the bricks. And you can have a real problem if you live in a very damp area and water is all the time seeping up those walls. What can you do about it? Well, you can do something about it, and I have a little model here to demonstrate that. I've started to build a brick wall, and you'll notice that I'm using sugar cubes to represent the bricks. We have one wall here, which is four bricks wide and three bricks high, and I'm going to build another almost identical wall on this side with one difference. I'm going to put something across the top of that first row of bricks to try and make it waterproof to prevent the water from coming up from the ground. Now when this happens in a real brick wall, it's called a damp course. They very often use coloured mortar, which is waterproof, to stop the water coming up. I could use a piece of coloured plastic if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use a piece of clear plastic because today, very often in building, they use clear mortar. It's actually a special additive which they put into the mortar to make it waterproof, a clear, damp course. When they do that and add it to the mortar and mix it up, the mortar still looks the same, but it's very different because it will now no longer allow water to pass through. So when water from the ground soaks up into the bricks and comes to a layer of this special mortar, it won't go through. We have a clear, damp course. And so the water can't affect the bricks that are above that layer or those layers. Well, I've almost finished building my second wall and you'll notice that it does look almost the same as the first one, except for the clear, damp course. Can you see it? It's down here. There it is, just a single layer of clear plastic. There we are there. I wonder if that'll make any difference. I'm going to add some water, to which I've added food colouring, just so you can see what's happening. And let's see if the damp course is effective. Here we go. And within seconds, you can see what's happening. The wall on the left has no damp course, and so the water rises up, 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 all the way. And before long, it'll be to the top of that wall. But on this side, because of the damp course there, the water can't go past the first layer of bricks. And so the rest of the wall is safe because of the damp course. What I'd like you to do is to look at all the brick houses you can find nearby and see if you can find damp courses. You'll be able to find it very often because they use a darker coloured mortar. See how many you can spot. Mm -hmm.